Let me show you how to do the bear push-ups. These are really challenging. Now, when you do this one, you're generally on uh, a heavy spring or a light spring, depending on what our focus is. I put it on a heavier spring. That's going to be more focused on the arms, upper body. But if I had it on a lighter spring, it's going to be more in the core. So I'll show you how to do this one, uh, where you walk your knees forward so that they're at the edge of the mat. Now, if you don't want to get your knees up, um, I'll show you how to do that one. You're basically going to push and bend, elbows in, and you press and see how I'm flexing my mid back and tucking my pelvis. That's an easier way to do it. If you want to stay on your knees though, I would go lighter so you have a little bit uh, more to work with in the core. If you're willing to get up into the bare position, this is a bare plank. The plank of wood is like you're straight, you're a plank of wood. A bare plank is Knees bent, tucked pelvis every time you come in. So you see how I'm pressing forward-ish on the bar? I'm kind of doing like a high end of a push-up. So every time I pull my knees in, I always have that tuck. But what I'm gonna do is bend and pull my elbows in and go forward, straighten my arms, and I, I don't go too far, but I press behind the bar. Now my face goes in front of the bar. And I press and pull into the bare plank with my elbows bending, which is a pretty hard position. So it's a slow move, and this bare push-up does not have any flexion in the back. This is a straight back motion. It's just that we're going from a full plank to a bare plank when we do the push-up. Great for your arms, great for your core. Everything's working as usual, full body.